Good afternoon. Um, welcome and thank you so much for coming to this press conference to celebrate this great day in South Carolina. It's a great day for two reasons. First, we are here to tell you about and celebrate this legislation that offers a license tag that will raise funds for cancer research at two of our great cancer institutions in the Carolinas at MUSC and at the Duke Cancer Center. And the second reason is we're here to celebrate the efforts of one individual citizen who came up with an idea and has made a difference that will prove to be a difference in the lives of many, many, many people in South Carolina, North Carolina, and the region for generations to come. First of all, going back to the first thing about what this bill does. Um, this bill was um, the, 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 um, the idea of um, Lieutenant David Turno, and what it does is it provides us one more way to fight cancer. Fifty years ago, 50 years ago this year, President Nixon declared war on cancer. And there are literally no one in this room has not been touched by cancer and its impact on either you or a family member. And that when you have cancer or when a family member has cancer, you want to know that there's hope. You want to know that there's an opportunity that you have to find a way to treat your cancer and to find a cure. And that's what this is about. It's about raising funds for there to be money for cancer research in the war on cancer. Drivers for a Cure, this tag, when it's sold, a portion of the dollars from this tag will go to fund research in cancer at the Medical University of South Carolina, Hollings Cancer Center, and at the Duke Cancer Center in Durham, North Carolina. Now, let me tell you about David Turno. My name is Tom Young. I'm a South Carolina State Senator from Aiken. David is my constituent. And three years ago, really about three and a half years ago, David came to me and he said, you know, I want to make a difference. I have been fighting cancer. I've had cancer in my family. And I, want to, I have an idea on how we can make a difference. And he told me about this tag idea. And I told him what we would have to do. We'd have to file a bill. And we found out from the Department of Motor Vehicles that there was $6,800 that had to be raised for the seed money for the tag. Well, David went out and he started, he had a 5K race, and he raised the money for the tag, all in one day, over $6,800 that was raised as the seed money. And here we are after literally one and a half legislative sessions, three years, this bill has had some bumps in the road, not because of what it does or what it doesn't do, but because of, of uh, legislative maneuvering that we ran into with COVID and other things. But we finally got here, and, and this bill is going to become a reality, and it is a reality because of one guy, and that person is Lieutenant David Turno from Aiken um, Public Safety, who decided that he wanted to make a difference. And because of his efforts and his persistence, we are here today, and so that's one of the great reasons why we're here is to celebrate the efforts of one South Carolinian who did what it took to make a difference for many, many others in our community, our region, and for generations to come. Now, I do want to mention some others that have played a key role in getting us here today. The entire Aiken County Legislative Delegation has been tremendous in their support in this effort, and several of them are standing behind me today. Uh, Representative Bill Taylor, Representative Bill Clyburn, Representative Bill Hickson, Representative Melissa Oremus, they are here today to show their support. Uh, Representative Chip Huggins is here today to show his support. Um, David's wife Jennifer is here. Um, there are people here from Duke Cancer Center, from MUSC. Um, there are members of our delegation who couldn't be here, but they wanted me to let the, the press and, and David know that they um, supported this from day one, Senator Setzler and Senator Massey, um, Representative Blackwell. Um, I also want to, um, I would be remiss if I didn't rep uh, recognize Representative Rita Allison because she was key in the House in helping get it through the House Education and Public Works Committee. And then Senator Larry Grooms, the chairman of the Senate Transportation Committee, um, also played a very key role in helping us get to where we are today. So I want to publicly thank David again for his efforts to get us here. And at this time, I'd like to recognize 
um, Dr. Aliyah from the uh, Duke Cancer Center. Thank you very much. My name is Edwin Allier. I'm a medical oncologist, and I'm the chief medical officer of the Duke Cancer Institute. First, I'd like to thank Governor McMaster for the opportunity to attend this uh, signing of the bill, uh, Senate Bill 242, Drivers for the Cure, a special license plate. I'd like to thank also uh, Senator Young for introducing this legislation and championing it through two years through the legislature. Thank you for all your efforts and perseverance. And most importantly, as he said, to uh, David Turno, who through his dedication and perseverance in seeing the bill to the finish line. This legislation has been four years in the making, and David has fought for this issue every step of the way. We appreciate his efforts and are about to impact, uh, make a remarkable impact on funding cancer and cancer research, which is what makes a difference. The Duke Cancer Institute sees well over 10,000 new patients a year from all parts of the country. Uh, the Duke Cancer Institute is a National Cancer Institute designated comprehensive cancer center and is comprised of over 300 researchers and physicians. The integrated care that's given by these teams game-changing research and the global coordination uh, through the Duke Cancer Institute would not be possible without support from generous donors and dedicated uh, providers. The Duke Cancer Institute is very grateful to partner uh, on this special license plate initiative with our colleagues from MUSC, the Holland Cancer Center in South Carolina. I'd like to again thank all of you again for all your efforts for passing this legislation and for supporting groundbreaking research and innovative research for cancer patients in the Carolinas and beyond. Thank you. I'd like to introduce Dr. Dennis Guthrie from the MUSC Cancer Center. Thank you. Well, good afternoon. Um, it really is a very special day. and. Governor McMaster and uh, distinguished guests. Uh, my name is Dennis Cuttridge. I'm the Associate Director of Translational Science at the Hollins Cancer Center and also the Director of the Darby Children's Research Institute. Um, it is a special day to be gathered here. I'm representative of the Hollins Cancer Center to say thank you. Thank you to our governor. Thank you to South Carolina House and the Senate for passing this very, very special Bill 242, um, Drivers for a Cure. Um, I often tell people that our Hollins Cancer Center is the only um, National Cancer Institute designated cancer center in our state of South Carolina. And what that means is that the NCI mandates us to have best care practice for our cancer patients. And so that means that we have to do research, we have to do cutting edge clinical trials just like the Cancer Center at, at Duke. And so that does not just happen by writing NIH grants all the time, that happens by other initiatives. This is why we're here today, because this initiative, this bill, is going to be able to give us funding possibilities that is going to improve the research, improve the clinical trials, to be able to provide best care practice, to be able to fulfill our mission, which to, is to eradicate cancer for all South Carolinians. It's a bold mission, but it's what we, we strive for. And so um, I will just say the last thing in closing is that um, uh, it's interesting that my four years when I was training in the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill, um, I was told during those four years never to mention the word Duke and uh, never to wear even dark blue. Um, but, uh, you know, it is very fitting to recognize the excellence of, of Duke University and of their cancer center. And I'm very proud to be here with all the efforts uh, of David Turo that we're going to hear in a second. Um, because together we're going to have the opportunity to collaborate and be able to make a difference to uh, both our great states. So I'm going to introduce now David Turo who uh, we wouldn't be here without his efforts. Whew. I guess I found out about cancer when I was 10 years old. My eight-year-old little brother was diagnosed with brain cancer. He lived for five years. So you can imagine at age 50 when I'd be diagnosed with my own brain cancer, five years later, here I am. I guess I started the collaboration because I had my successful brain surgery at Charleston 
and then I have my follow-up care at Duke. And it, this journey along the way, when you're touched by cancer, you meet a lot of people, and unfortunately, they don't make it. I still have hope, so we need research. It's just right around the corner. I feel it. I am blessed every day. I pray every day. I am thankful for what I've been given and my opportunities, and I'm so thankful for everybody behind me who, when I did talk to people from the director of Swebo to Tom, everybody wants to cure cancer. We just got to figure out how to do it. So uh, I thank you very much, and I'm, I look forward to this day. Thank you. Thank you. I want to thank everyone for being here today and also for the work and inspiration that went into this, into this moment. Uh, we in South Carolina and in the South, North Carolina as well, the Carolinas, it's always heartwarming. There are great feelings we have at various kinds of events and occurrences. Uh, some people feel comforted at uh, weddings. Uh, others maybe at uh, the victory of a, in a football game or to see the children performing well and excelling. But there's always something about the human touch that really does comfort us. And we read stories of the dogs saving their masters from calamity and all these kind of things that we as people enjoy reading about, learning about, and, and seeing. And this is one of those things where we in our state are taking care, our states are taking care of those in our state. It, it, you never can beat the goodness involved in a neighbor reaching out to help another neighbor. And there's no way that the government can do these things on its own. In fact, there's often a lot of government waste. But this kind of initiative, not only will it raise money to find a cure for cancer, but it'll also raise awareness and raise a lot of interest in the entire subject from A to Z. So for, for the reasons that extend greatly beyond the money that will be raised, uh, we are very thankful for these men and women to have joined together to do this here in our state. So with that, if there are questions, we'll answer them, and then we'll sign the bill. It really depends. Uh, they can make a tremendous amount of money. You know, if you get, uh, my favorite is the old back-to-back -back plate from the University of South Carolina where you've got, uh, you know, conceivably 30, 40,000 plates. It really depends upon the demand. One of the great things about this plate is everybody relates to cancer. And it's a colorful plate. It's a good-looking plate. We expect good participation. I'm hoping that it can go ahead, for example, and make forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000. There's no way to tell specifically but I think they've set all the conditions. There are a whole lot of people that are gonna be pushing it. And I'm hoping that each one of you that sees this plate understands the criticality of wiping out cancer. I mean, anything that gets North Carolina and South Carolina together, it, show, it, it may show there's, there's hope for the legislature. <laughs> but, but we really do hope that you get the word out because we wanna kill cancer. And the only way we do that is a participative effort to get the word out is that how close they are. It just, takes a, it just takes a little bit of money to find that edge to make a difference. So I, I can't give you a, a firm answer, but I can tell you with your help, we'll raise more money and we'll do more to solve cancer, cancer because you all had a part of this as well. It all depends on how many tags are sold. And so, uh, you know, the, the beautiful thing is, as long as we get help and we keep it in the people's conscience and they go and they buy and more people buy it each year, we can increase the number. The only negative piece comes if somebody then, you know, finds a, a newer, nicer plate. South Carolina wins the national football championship. There could be a whole lot of other plates that lose plates. <laughs> yes, yes, sir. One thing I wanted to add to that is, um, before I do, I want to say that I, I was remiss. I did not mention Representative Hickson, who's also here and was instrumental in getting this passed in the House. This bill, 
the amount of money it, it, that it raises every year will depend on the number of people that buy the tag, just as Director Schwedo said. So it's important for the press, it's important for churches, it's important for community support groups, or cancer support groups, to spread the word about this tag and its availability so that the public will know that they can buy this tag and a portion of the proceeds will go to cancer research. They, like I said at the beginning, there is not a person in this room who has not been personally impacted by cancer, whether it's your family member or whether it's you, whether it's a friend, every one of us has been impacted. And this gives, up, gives us hope, it gives cancer patients hope, it gives their families hope, and that's the main thing is that we give them hope and we continue to fight this for an, in the years to come. More questions? Would yes? In a perfect world, mid-November. Uh, I've still got to go through one more test to make sure that when it comes on out, it works perfectly. We're very, very good at that. We do that with uh, a replication of the entire state's database. I expect mid-November. More questions? Well, I must note the, the, the firepower between uh, having two of the finest cancer institutions in the country working together on this is a very important point. Yes, sir. More questions? <clears throat> then let's sign.